Now, you've probably heard of creatine, that powder that gym bros scoop into their shakes to get buff. But here's what almost no one's talking about. There's a brand new clinical trial that just proved that a single capsule, 750 milligrams of creatine hydrochloride, this is a different form, can actually increase brain creatine in women over 40. Here's what's cool about this. That is one thirtieth of the dose used in most of these studies looking at uh, how creatine impacts the brain. Now, this is not about biceps, although that could be a side benefit. It's about better focus, better mood, and mental energy. The things that start slipping when estrogen declines. And today I'm going to break down the new science showing how creatine fuels your brain like it fuels your muscles. Now, I'm also going to talk about this form, creatine HCL, and how it may finally end that whole bloat and bulk myth, and how this could become one of the most important longevity tools for women over 40. Let's first kind of dig into why the female brain becomes vulnerable. And here's the reality. As estrogen starts decline through perimenopause, your brain's favorite fuel, glucose, becomes harder to use. And that's why so many women notice brain fog, mood swings, poor sleep, slower recall, weight gain, and joint pain. Any of that sound familiar? Estrogen helps regulate mitochondria, blood flow, and neuronal glucose uptake. And when it drops, so does your brain's energy production. It slows down. And that is where creatine comes in. Creatine isn't just for muscles. It's the cell's rechargeable battery system because it recycles ATP. ATP is the energy currency that keeps every neuron firing, every thought forming, and every decision sharp. And during perimenopause and beyond, your brain's energy gap widens. Now, research shows that women tend to have lower frontal lobe creatine to begin with. This is that area tied to focus, planning, and mood stability. And that brings us to the breakthrough study that's changing the game. So here is the new creatine HCL study, and it was published August 2025 in the Journal of the American Nutrition Association. It was a randomized double-blind, placebo-controlled study that is like the gold standard that followed 36 peri- and postmenopausal women for eight weeks. And they put them into four groups, a group that took 750 milligrams per day of creatine HCL, a group that took 1,500 milligrams per day of creatine HCL, one group that took 800 milligrams per day of HCL plus ethyl ester, and a placebo. Here's what happened. The 750 milligram group that's less than a gram. And this is important because creatine monohydrate, the most widely recognized form, the most studied form of creatine, you're taking three to five grams as a recommended starting dose. This 750 milligram group showed the biggest jump in brain creatine across nine of the 13 regions, including the frontal cortex and white matter. These women perform better on attention tasks, faster reaction time, sharper focus, and improved executive control. Now, the 1500 milligram group also improved reaction time versus the placebo, raised frontal brain creatine about 16%, and improved lipid profiles and showed a trend towards fewer mood swings. But here's the great part. No one complained of bloating, no weight gain, no GI discomfort. Compare that with creatine monohydrate, where most brain studies require 10 to 20 grams per day. That's 10 to 30 times higher to see an effect. And often that leads to some of those issues that I just talked about. This study shows that creatine HCL can deliver measurable brain benefits at micro doses. So what does that mean for you? <laughs> brain fog and fatigue aren't just in your head. They're signs your neurons are running low on fuel. Low dose creatine HCL can help fill that gap and it can do it cleanly and efficiently. So some of the cognitive benefits, better attention span, faster processing speed, a steadier reaction time, mood resilience, fewer mood swings, greater calm under stress, and better metabolic support improved lipids, and better cellular energy turnover. And the researchers even tracked amyloid beta, which is that small protein fragment that's been linked to Alzheimer's. And what they found was that levels stayed stable with creatine, but fell in the placebo group, a change that, while preliminary, may signal healthier clearance dynamics when you're taking the creatine HCL. It's early, but shoot. <laughs> That's intriguing, right? So let's talk about creatine HCL versus traditional monohydrate. And traditional creatine monohydrate has been used for decades, works, but it doesn't work well for everybody because it can cause bloating, water retention, and GI issues in up to 80% of the people. I've seen it in the research 
And I've seen it in my own experience. Creatine HCL changes that. By binding creatine to a hydrochloride salt, it becomes far more soluble and bioavailable. It dissolves instantly in a few ounces of water, it absorbs quickly, and it reaches the brain and the muscle efficiently. You don't need a loading phase, you don't have side effects. Now, this was the first trial to confirm measurable increases in brain creatine at these low doses of women over 40, which means you can get the best of both worlds. You can get a calmer, clearer mind, you can get more resilient muscles, and you get it without the side effects. It used to be that you took three to five grams of creatine to get some of the muscle benefits, but then you had to really hammer it up 10 to 20 grams to get the brain. Don't have to do that anymore. So here's the takeaway. Creatine is no longer a gym supplement for the bros. We women need it and we need it more than men. We have less tissue stores to begin with because we have less muscle. Think of creatine as a body and brain health supplement and one of the most underused tools for women's longevity. And at just 750 milligrams per day, creatine HCL raised brain energy, sharpened cognition, and supported mood, all without the downsides of the higher dose monohydrate. So if you want to protect your brain, keep your metabolism humming, and stay strong inside and out, creatine HCL deserves a spot in your daily routine. So I will tell you from my daily routine, I take 1,500 milligrams a day. I'm also six feet tall and 142 pounds, but I double that up if I've got any kind of sleep deprivation or I'm time zone adjusting. And I learned that trick from Mark Faulkner. So I did a conversation with Mark Faulkner actually at the creatine HCL plant. He was one of the innovators. He he discovered creatine HCL and it's called Creatine Reimagined, a new US-based innovation for strength, energy, and longevity. I'm going to link that below. Here's what's also cool about creatine HCL. It is made in the USA. It's made in Nebraska. And you'll see in that interview, I actually went to the plant and went all the way through it and checked out everything. And then I tried it myself for months and tried it on my husband as well. Here's what I love the most about creatine HCL. It's one of the supplements, and this is rare. Generally, you take a supplement, you're like, I don't know if that vitamin D is doing anything, right? You take creatine HCL, you will notice a difference. It's like someone just turned the lights on in your brain. You will notice a difference when you work out. It helps you work out harder, recover better. It helps you be more focused all throughout the day. It is literally my favorite of all time supplement. And so definitely give this one a try and make sure you also subscribe to my channel because the next video is going to reveal how to stack creatine for better sleep, to manage stress, and with protein to supercharge your brain's performance at any age.